want to just do a big shout out to one of our affiliates. Thank you very much, Eridex. Uh, Jacques, thank you. You sent three of these things. Uh, what would have been enough if we make an effort to give them away and yeah, yeah. Uh, put in a good word? Uh, so, courtesy of Eridex, please go check them out. Links in the bottom. Oh. Uh, we received a bunch of butter makers uh, by the Herbal Chef. I love, I love the caption on the box. It says, take the confusion mm. out of infusion. Oh, that's nice. That's okay, we're going to use the main camera, we'll get through the There's one stick. But they sent us a few sizes. Different Ooh. sizes. Boom. Boom. One, two, and four. Well, is is that see, three there that you've got open? Yeah. So we're going to get it now. Shit. We'll have a look now. Nice. And let's see what the thing looks like. Was that like one stick, two stick, stick, four stick? Oh, nice. Love it, Anno. Yeah, boy. So this kind of reminds me of the of the coffee machine. Yeah. Oh. That's what you guys keep saying. It looks like a coffee machine. But you just percolate butter through it instead of. Pretty much. Yeah. Instead uh, of water. Because the description on the box says. It's uh, got a different sieve. You see that? Mm. It's got two sieves. Yeah, no, one. like a. Uh, the coarseness of it is different one. than the coffee one. one the is the coffee one smaller or bigger, the sip? Uh, smaller. Okay. Because you grind it more to powdery nothing. So So the, the description tunes, uh, make your own butter suitable for baking, cooking, or simply spreading on your toast. Skip the mess and hours needed with traditional DIY herbal infusions. And finished product in as little as 10 minutes. Uh, also tunes has got a limited lifetime warranty and made out of stainless steel. But you guys saying it's it's very similar to the coffee thing. Can see down there? Oh, it's the small one. Oh, well, it's the same. No, it's empty. That same, is the uh, that is no, that's the same concept where you, you <coughs> boil something through the percolator. Yeah. And whatever's in there, it will take it with it. So if it's coffee and water, the water will go through the coffee and it'll come out on top as coffee. So this is just obviously they figured out the mesh size and all that, and so it doesn't gunk up and you know obviously works. Did you try it? So dum dum dum. Uh, we have tried it, but I thought that we'd start at the beginning and show you a sort of idea of how the thing works. I know we don't have the desk cam, but Dale and I watched the video beforehand. Uh, it, it took us Make a your while. own butter suitable for baking, cooking, or simply Someone spreading gonna... on your toast. Skip the mess. So you, what you're making is infused butter. Ten minutes. You're not making butter. You're putting butter in it to make yes, butter. Yes. Hey, you're yeah, infusing yeah. your butter. Totally. That's why it's is that it? You don't want to burn it. Oh, you make some. Yeah. Okay, so saying here. So I know how to make some, dude. The instructions are going to mess with your mind. I know the shortcut. The okay. short answer is we need to chop the butter up, about half that butter, okay. into little blocks. And then, Dan, you've got to screw the bottom up. So. Yeah, instead of water. So the bottom. Are we going to make another one? Yeah. Well, we're not going to make another one, we're just going to cheat. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, cookie, like a cooking show. I did all the homework. Yeah, like a cooking show. Yeah, yeah. We've already got one. Um, no, don't tell them the seat. Shh, do it. Do it. Ruin the surprise, man. They're supposed to think that we like it. No, you see, it's got a different like, just ninjas. look to it. No, it's the same, bro. Right? No, you think so? Same. I'm going to take this home and make coffee tonight. Watch. Right. Try it, bro. Yeah, it's a nice one. So what we, we do... Stainless steel, because cool. that other one is tin, bro. Shot, bro. This is nice. So you just throw in the bottom. Yeah. We need some bud though. We need some bud. And you yeah, know, some bud. Yeah, some bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. gotta grind it up, right? right. No, but don't take the tank. No, we're gonna do it for real. No, yeah, man. Cherry cream cookies. We don't have a cooker. Here's a grinder, right here. It's all done. Don't worry. It's all done. So what you do is you put a bunch of butter, chopped up butter, in the bottom. You put quite a bit of butter in, hey? But now you're making too dirty, man. Yeah, uh, and then you put water as well, and you fill oh, so that pressure valve. More water, okay. So what you do is you put a bunch of butter, of chopped butter. Dang butter. And then you add enough water, so that when the butter and the water melts, it doesn't go above this pressure valve. Yeah. So just use a bit of, rather too little than too much to start, I think. Otherwise it's going to squirt out there and catch fire maybe. Or not. Right. Um, so then... Yeah. It's going to pee pee. Where's that filter? Right. Then remember to decarb your weed. No, don't. No, because the heat from this is going to decarb. Okay, but they do yeah. recommend decarbing your weed. It depends on 
if you do it'll just it. take quicker it'll be like 10 minutes if you don't do cardio weed it's like nice and slow cooking like 25 minutes cool man you're just gonna degrade most of the THC though. so I, I my my first hack for this thing is this filter thing it's awkward when you're using it use a cup or, or glass and it just sits in the glass and stands it doesn't water over for when you're putting your weed in but you can pretty much fill it up with weed yeah. and then what will happen you put this oaky in Where's the top? You don't screw on the whole situation. And you put it on a low to medium temperature, not a high temperature, a low to medium temperature for 10 to 15 minutes. It looks like it's very much a coffee thing, eh? Mm. Mm -hmm. And then will you give me a hand yet, Dan? Mm. So after 10 to 15 minutes, After 10 to 15 minutes, all the butter has come to the top. I oh. don't know if you'll see it, but to oh, help you, it's, it's poured out. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice color. Not too green. That looks delicious. That and I can tell you, Oaks, when this was cooking in my kitchen, you could smell it from half a K away. <laughs> And they say what will happen is if you leave it to sit for a few hours, it'll separate between yes. butter and water. And that top layer that's butter, power. You can put it in the fridge as well overnight. That'll and the good. butter hardens nicely. And the water in, yeah, it floats up to the top. Yeah. So you could in theory you put, make what, a you bunch. put weed in this? Yes. <laughs> you could in theory and make a bunch of it. Doesn't and then whenever you make well. edibles, you just take some out of the fridge. It smells right? like popcorn. Is it? Mm. That's so good. Mm. I could drink this. Don't Yo, you Dan. Make popcorn from it. Panning, prospecting right here. I'm prospecting, finding so them nuggets. Like I'm Dale, going. like Dale was saying, this the box recommends that you grind and scan your weed in the oven at a low temp to decarb it, and then use it in this thing. But personally, I think my top tip would be to rather let it decarb in it and put it on slower for yeah. longer, yeah. rather than fast. I would rather put it on yeah. low for 20 minutes. Better cool. And get time. a really good product. Yeah. But I also think you could probably do it more than once. Yeah. Just check when, the, when, hmm. the, when it I comes could, out, it will be super John, hot. So the temp will be there. Technically, it should be around 100. And this is what the weeds are like going to boil up. So. so it dry almost like it's vaporized. Well, it's wet, obviously, because it's, it's uh, the butter going through it. Because the butter that was all in the bottom pushed through it and right. came out the, into the top chamber. That's how it percolated. And then it collects it in the funnel, and then it PPEs outside. That's why it goes like thinner on top. Mm. So, so you look, yeah, when those things, when you open it up, then so it can condensate. Because cool. the thing is quite empty now. Most of it went nice. up to the top. Then it's a good pull. Nice. That's a good way to tell it. But I wouldn't so smoke this like, weed. No. no. I bet oh, you it smells funny though, eh? Is butter it? weed. Does it smell like butter? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Popcorn so weed. Job. So we get oh, yeah, it like dog shit. Oh, yeah. it smells like dog shit. What do you mean? Yeah. yeah. Take this stuff. Sisa. Sisa, eh? I like to smoke it. I'm not sure that I eat no, it, eh? No, then. No, no, man. Give it to the chicken. Yeah, yeah, I think close it up. But also, I think, like I, baby I think I made the mistake of not washing it before I used it, and I just used it. And I think also, like with all kitchen appliances, wash it before first use, eh, you got guys? that. You got that grease. That, that extra special sauce. Ooh, that China sauce. Bro. Mystery that oil. Flew. That kung flu there. Yeah, the mystery oil. So, again, shout out to Eridex. Thank you very much. Uh, I think what we'll do is everyone's going to try and call dips to these. I don't know if we're going to give one away. We'll try and give one away. We'll I think we should out. give one away. I think it's okay. appropriate. So I think we'll give one of the baby ones away. Because I think Myrtle's got her heart set on the big one. Yes, uh, she deserves it. But as a shit or lit, guys... I think that's lit. I think, I think lit. that's really, really lit. That is like such a nice, ads. easy, like, unobtrusive uh, way to you make yourself some butter. Like I think that this and that go together. To make yeah, yourself cost. some butter. Yeah, this if is not for making things you for know, If you're a kind of person that, that just has bud all the time, herb all the time, then yeah, it's a cool thing if you want to make edibles quickly. But, but I think, you but if you're someone who's constantly making edibles, it's not really appropriate. I love my edibles. You want to use, use an oil, you can, you can know exactly what you're doing. I can dosages. edibles all day, so to have something that's so simple at home just to be able to throw a bit of bud in, no, throw it there, put it on the side, let it cook, I'm happy to do it.
But do you think, guys, that you could do this with coconut oil in it instead of butter? Yes. Yes. Yes, you could do it with anything in yep. theory. Yeah. Like they said about the coffee as well. Do you think you need to add water for the coconut oil? Yeah. I think you need to add water for all of them to help with the percolation. Yeah. I think at the end there's always, when you make a butter, there's usually a stage where they separate. So you would okay. make it, let it set in the Tupperware in the fridge. Don't put it in when it's hot in the fridge, it'll hurt your fridge. But let it cool, and put yes. it in the fridge, and overnight the butter and the water will separate and you'll just be able to take that slab of butter or cocoa butter, boom. Yeah, and put it in when it's room temperature. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no hotter than that. Good. I think this is. Th I think this is really like. You can really make a whole bunch of oil, uh, butter, and then whenever you make edibles, just take a little piece of butter and put it in your batter. And for the quality exactly. of this, I'm just looking at the price. For the quality, that's not bad. So this is this steel. is really good. How much is that? It's not going to fall apart. Is also five hundred bucks. Six hundred forty for the small one. Extra large is a thousand one hundred. Mm. Okay, interesting. I think that's reasonable. I think for someone. Steel, really. It's cheaper than the weed we put in it, I think. Actually, yeah. <laughs> Most of the time, yes. Yeah. I mean, be. imagine now putting inside there. To, I mean, what is the capacity on Shh. these caps? Like it looks like about... The small one, maybe four. It looked like the big one we could squeeze about seven to ten yeah. grand. So seven to ten grand. If someone bought that on the street of indoors, that's a thousand rand they've just spent. And they're going to yeah. stick that into then make a bit of butter... Good butter. Very really strong butter. Good butter. Uh, it's not a lot, but a fucking a four, four I sticks. I <laughs> to make something with just to, to, to see how, if, you know, the taste. Because I don't like, personally, the taste of cannabis in my food. Agreed. Um, so I'd be very interested to see if this yeah. butter would Also, like, what like, the is there an electric version? Like? What? There is an electric version. That's the Magical Butter Maker. It's another brand, mm. but also stocked by Eridix, which is also... Very cool product. Yes. This one's this one's a lot more. That's the minute. I think you press the button. It does the thing. I've had my for a long time. I'm not very good with leaving things burning on the stove. <laughs> uh, uh... I think the key word they're burning. Eh? <laughs> Honestly, very much in the spirit. If I think about what we're talking about yes. at home with cannabis earlier, we're, we're talking very much about people who are at home who need something that's quick and accessible. And butter has always what been one of the quickest yes. and most accessible ways. And now it's gotten even easier because butter usually takes a couple of hours to make. It mm -hmm. does. I mean, butter's yeah. been making people fucking trip it since the 50s. Yeah. But I mean, that's also like. Um, Again, Cab with, says, reasonably with, priced for small and that's enough for, for an old bogle. Yeah. It's something that can actually be put out there into the middle of rural, into rural areas and they yes, can make their yeah. medicine. Yeah. On the stove yes. in your yes. home, yeah. not a lot. Okay. As you can. Okay. And, so, that point. and you can use normal butter, hey? Point. You can use yeah. normal butter, margarine, you can use that yeah. because at the end of the day, it's just ingesting it, getting it because they're not going to have access to coconut oil in the middle of no. yeah, so that rurality. Not, yeah. So they do have butter. They, I know that they, you oh, can yes. get margarine, yeah. I know you can get it, and if you need to it, you can say, I need margarine for my medicine. Get margarine, you stick it inside okay. there. Stick on some swazzy heads inside that thing and make a batch. And that butter there, styling. Dude, up that rule, mm -hmm. they're making their own butter from their own cows. Well, well, there we go. If they make their own butter, even better. You know, but look at that. I mean, there's your medicine. Mm, no, yeah. I think if we look, we might see it starting to separate. <coughs> this is so easy that someone, that, an, that like even an elderly person can use yeah. as a piece of equipment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they're able to cook at home, you give them a, a little package with this, a butter, a bag of weed, ground up already. Say, so add this to this, put this in this, yeah. add to stove. Ten minutes later, pour this in this Tupperware, stick it in your fridge. Boom. And the cannabis has more of an impact on your body, right? Sorry? The cannabis will have well, more it is of more impact bioavailable to your than blood. Than it's, flower, able to, yeah. it's able to it get onto your, your blood brain barrier, through the blood brain barrier, all that. Because it's obviously more people attached to, it to a fat molecule. Yeah. And it's, nice it's screw there. I didn't put the thing on properly. We're going to get weed and butter everywhere. It's like that. Sorry, my bad. My bad. So guys, while the Jack Russell quietly tries to eat all this can of butter on the floor, yeah, you check me hurting the dog. Uh, one more shout out to you. Thank you very much, guys. This is, I'd say this thing gets a lit. Lit. Lit F. Lit F. Yeah, no, lit, lit F. I say lit F. Lit as fuck. It's, it's, a, it's an awesome piece of kit. It really is nice. Well done for bringing this in and making it available to us. Yeah, no, this is really lit F. Well done. Thanks, Eredix.
and then I was going to give it a lit, and then I thought, it's not going to get a lit app because it doesn't have electricity, like you say. But then you guys said it made it more accessible. It makes it more accessible, plus load shedding, bro, it's a reality. And that's what gives it an Exactly. App. What if you want to make kind of butter when load shedding just starts? What if you're halfway through the magical butter machine and that's electric, you're halfway through, then load shedding hits, does it go back to the beginning? Does it?